So while I was picking up some stuff from our friends on eBay, there was a few other orders that came in that I picked up. Um, propellers for a, a couple of drones that I picked up on, uh, well, Craigslist. D I, I almost feel guilty about um, having done this. Actually, no, I do. I do feel guilty about having done this. Somebody was giving away two drones because they put the wrong propellers on the wrong motors. Um, there, I said it. They thought that they had two burnt out motors because the darn thing was flipping into a certain direction, but it was because they had the counterclockwise prop. And and the, the funny thing is about the drone is that it's there's two different colors of propellers that you would think would rec indicate front and back. And yeah, definitely the two different colors of propellers indicate front and back. But what the person didn't realize is that the two different colors of propellers come in two different pitches as well, counterclockwise and clockwise. So they gave away a couple of drones because <clears throat> they couldn't be bothered to read the manual. So yeah, no, I don't, I actually probably shouldn't feel too bad about that. Anyways, that's that. Um, true confession time, over. And then I thought to myself, well, hey, if I've got these drones, yeah, um, I should probably get myself a set of batteries for them. And I mean, I, I've got lots of big batteries um, kicking around. And I even have some like flat cells that I'm harvesting out of packs like this. And I'll probably turn into drone batteries for for the uh, for the big quadcopter, but um, these small guys, I mean, they're dirt cheap on eBay. Like this was like ten bucks or something, something ridiculous like that for um, six batteries and a charger. Probably takes forever to charge, you know, like a couple of hours. But if you get twenty minutes out of each battery, you can you can basically fly for continuously if you just plug them in. So. There's that. I've got a couple of nice um, Holy Stone HS-170s that I can play with. Um, maybe even reflash the um, firmwares on with um, with a different firmware because I haven't actually taken those apart. I'll probably do a teardown on those too. Well, no, not probably. I will definitely do a teardown on those as well. And then what else? There was another bag of crap. Did I just throw another bag of crap somewhere? Um, it's either capacitors or it was LCDs. Oh, yeah. I did. I thought that was garbage. Good thing I didn't. And what is in here? Are these the little LCDs? Or, um, LCDs. TFT. Oh, yeah. These little guys. These will be nice little displays to put on to, um, onto projects. So if you just need a little um, a little scrolling display, I don't, or it, you know, it's it's smaller than your standard ribbon. These are two line one twenty twenty eight character I think um, displays, but these guys have much better resolution, so you can probably get the same amount of information onto onto this if you allow it to scroll. Um, and I, these are either eh, SPI or I squared C, I forget which, but um, uh, let's see, uh, ground VCC, uh, I squared C. So you would be able to use this. I mean, they're a lot like, uh, where, where the heck did I put those? Uh, somewhere, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I just organized this place and I still can't find anything. They're TFTs like these, except a different form factor. So half size, basically, well, 75% size of these guys. Um, the one thing I wish it did have, which it doesn't, is mounting holes on this end, but um, we can probably use some sort of like double-sided sticky tape because it looks like it's just passives on this side. But, uh, but yeah, so those came as well. Um, 
And while HP and Compaq use the same, have been using the same adapters for forever, so these things um, are all over the place, and you, you get them for like two bucks at your local um, computer recycling facility. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Uh, that is the post bag, and uh, thanks for watching.